hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire boxing or boxing <laughs> now tyson fury man turns his back on fellow countryman anthony joshua right tyson fury and i quote if i'm honest i fancy Parker to beat Joshua. Wow. Wow. Hater to 120%, man. Tyson Fury, his long rival, Anthony Joshua, man, he turns his back on him. His fellow countryman. Wow. Now, <laughs> as much as Tyson Fury accomplished, man, you think he'll let someone shine and it'll be a good thing. Nope. Not Tyson Fury, man. Not Tyson Fury. He thinks Joseph Parker is going to beat Anthony Joshua, man. He thinks he's, he's too good for AJ. Now, I'm going to read a quote for you guys, right? I'm going to read a couple quotes for you guys. Tyson Fury, if I'm honest, I fancy Parker, and that's being, and that's being gospel. Fury said to the Pound for Pound podcast, he's young and ambitious. He's got fast hands. He hits hard. He fights excellent against opponents who stand still and don't move. Another thing is, I never met a Mar Mary, Mary that ain't tough. They're all tough as teak. Right, so that's basically what Tyson Fury said. He basically said, um, Joseph Parker's from the islands, you know what I mean? And they, and they call him Maury over there. Sorry if I butch butchered that, guys. And uh, he basically says that they're tough, man. They're from the island, they're tough, and they come, they come tough as they come, you know. And Joseph Parker's a heavyweight world champion, that's tough as you can get. So, based off that, man, Tyson Fury probably thinks JP is tougher than Anthony Joshua, man. You know what I mean? And apparently, he talks about uh, Joseph Parker's speed. So, obviously, Tyson Fury thinks Joseph Parker's a lot faster than, than Anthony Joshua. So, th th those are some things to think about, man. You know, you got a unified champion saying that this guy has some gifts that Anthony Joshua doesn't particularly have, apparently, in his perspective. So, this is this is some uh, big, big news, man. We're going to see how... Anthony Joshua comes out and what how he feels about it because we all know that Joseph Parker has been getting under Anthony Joshua's skin by saying things like Anthony Joshua has a great, uh, a, a soft chin, a glass jaw, and he the king of steroids. You know, Joseph Parker is actually very, very belligerent with with his with his statements, man. He's just out there. He don't care. You know, you you say one thing bad about Joseph Parker, he'll come at you even harder. So I always thought Joseph Parker was a tough uh, competitor. I uh, always knew he has what it takes to be a champion. He proved that he's, he has a fighter's mentality when he went to Huey Fury's backyard in Britain and beat the guy in his hometown in, in front of his crowd. You know, something Joseph Parker didn't need to do because he is a champion, but he gave the contender opportunity, undefeated, undefeated Huey Fury a chance. And this is a big deal, uh, speaking that Huey Fury is Tyson Fury's cousin. Joseph Parker beat him. And Tyson Fury thinks Joseph Parker is the best thing since Ride on Rice now. And it's really crazy. You know, you think Tyson Fury would have hard feelings for Joseph Parker. That's not the case, man. That's not the case at all. Actually, he thinks he's even greater that now that he beat Huey Fury. So this could be just him trying to hype him up. Usually when fighters lose to a guy, they always want to give the guy credit. Tyson Fury could be giving him credit just because he beat his cousin, or he could just not like Anthony Joshua and just just wanted him to lose. Period. So we'll we'll see how Anthony Joshua responds to this. This is a big deal. Uh, Joseph Parker is definitely going to the Lions Den fighting Anthony Joshua in his backyard, and <laughs> you know they're friends. I mean they got pictures, smiling, showing the fists, and you know the thing that makes it such an interesting article is. Tyson Fury sparred Anthony Joshua, so he knows exactly how good Anthony Joshua is. He knows how definitely how good Anthony Joshua is on his way up. So, how's Anthony Joshua gotten better? Not so much for Tyson Fury, apparently, because he thinks Joseph Parker has what it takes to get past Anthony Joshua. This is a really big deal. This is something that even Tyson Fury, if he really doesn't like Anthony Joshua, he can give Joseph Parker some pointers on how to beat him. You know, he did spar him before. You know, some people say sparring... And, and uh, fighting isn't the same thing, but, you know, tendencies stick. And when you're sparring someone, you can, you can do certain things that that the fighter may not notice, you know. 
the sparring partner can notice your tendencies. That's what boxing is. It's sort of about predicting what the guy's going to do before he does it and, and reacting. You know, especially Tyson Fury, more of a counterpuncher, you know. He, he, he's really elusive in his attack. He, when you think Tyson Fury, you don't think aggressive fighter. You think counterpuncher. So the way Fury fights, he's predicting Anthony Joshua's movements. Therefore, i.e., he can give Joseph Parker some things, that, some uh, some pointers on how to fight Anthony Joshua and what to do and, you know, make Anthony Joshua fall into traps. So we don't know how close Tyson Fury and Joseph Parker are, but they're really close. And like I said, Tyson Fury's cousin, Huey Fury, lost to Joseph Parker. At this point in in Tyson Fury's career, he doesn't want Anthony Joshua to get any bigger because the bigger Anthony Joshua gets, the, the, the lesser people think about Tyson Fury, right? Now, if Anthony Joshua, let's just say he loses tomorrow or whatever, people are going to be thinking about, oh, well, we had Tyson Fury, he can still come back. But the bigger the bigger star that Anthony Joshua gets, you know, the more outshined Tyson Fury gets, you know. And um, beating Klitschko was a great win for Tyson Fury that set him apart from everyone else. But if Anthony Joshua keeps on running through these fighters, He's is just gonna look. It's gonna the, the opposition and and the levels of getting unifications will just get look wider and wider, you know. It look wider and wider. The more Anthony Joshua defends, the the tougher opponents he fights. His 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 popularity and his credentials will get wider and wider from Tyson Fury to Anthony Joshua. So that being said, Tyson Fury doesn't like that. He doesn't like that at all. You know, this could be salty grapes from Tyson Fury, but it could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of factors in this one. But from my perspective. When when you when you're done fighting and people start getting the love you used to got, that, that can definitely affect you mentally. Definitely for sure. You know? So let me know how you guys feel about it. You guys think Tyson Fury is picking J Joseph Parker for a reason? Uh is it is it for his own benefit? Is it because he think actually thinks he's better than Anthony Joshua? Or let me know how you guys feel about it. So let me know how you guys feel, like, comment, subscribe. This is the Empire. Geobasic Empire. Peace. Empire. Peace.